Hello, I'm Steve Yakshi, and welcome to another edition of Steve Y, the Fix-It Guy. I'm here with my son, Garrett. Uh, he's having an issue with one of his toilets, so we're going to tackle that today. So, uh, Garrett, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're experiencing? Yeah, so the, the two things that's going on right now with our toilet is it's running um, after the tank is already full, and then also it's not... Uh, beginning to run when the tank is empty. So those are the two main issues we're having. Okay, so uh, why don't we go take a look at that. We're here in the uh, master bathroom and uh, this is the toilet we're talking about. Um, one, I should just say that fixing toilets is one of the easiest things you can do in the house. Um, there's just a couple issues you want to make sure of, but other than that, very simple. Uh, today, all we're going to need is a couple of towels that you don't care about. Um, also, um, I do have a pair of pliers in case uh, it's a little too tight uh, to get off by hand, but they're designed to be uh, uh, loosened by hand. So uh, one of the first things we want to do, of course, is just take the top off so we can get inside there. So with the top off, we can, uh, we can see the, the fill valve and we can also see the flapper valve. Um, typically, this is gonna be one of those two issues, but we've already diagnosed that uh, this fill valve right here is a problem. When I push it down, it should come on, and it takes a while for it to do that. It does cut off, but you can see it's, it's not cutting off until it starts overflowing into this overflow valve right here. And that's not what we want to be happening. So we know this is a fill valve problem and we're going to replace that. And I'm going to show you how. This is our replacement uh, fill valve that we're going to install today. And you notice um, this one happens to be from Corky. And uh, it's a universal, so it fits almost every toilet uh, known to man. Now the first thing we're going to do is shut the water supply off. And this is our shutoff valve. But before I do that, I'm going to put a towel down underneath it uh, just in case you know we experience some uh, some drippage. So let me just reach over here and we're going to turn it clockwise until it's good and tight. And now we've cut the water supply off. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get all the water out of the tank. So we're just going to flush it and just hold it until all the water is out of the tank. And you can see that uh, the water is not coming on because we turned it off. However, there's still some water at the bottom of the tank and this is where one of our old towels comes in handy. We take our old towel and we're just going to put it into the bottom of the tank and let it soak up all this water down here at the bottom. There may be some other more elegant ways to, uh, to do this, but it's Yay. simple and it's cheap. All right, now we're ready to uh, remove the old fill valve. So as you can see, this is, has to be removed here and, and you can just do this by hand. If it's a little too tight, then maybe I'll uh, use my, my pliers to, uh, to loosen it up. But let's see, let's see if we can do this. Yep, yep, no problem. So we'll just loosen that up. And uh, notice that's why we have the towel underneath there because when you loosen it up, you know, the water's going to come out. So now that we've taken the supply line loose, now we want to take this retaining nut off. Again, that also comes off by hand. You can see it's quite easy. So we'll get that all the way off. Again, make sure your towel's in place because this next step, we're going to push it up. There you see, we've loosened it. And a little bit of water is going to drip there too, but that's okay. We got our towel down. See, our fill valve is now loose. We're just going to remove this hose from the overflow and take it out and get ready for the new one. One thing I would recommend though, before we install a new one, is to take a towel or an old rag and let's really clean this good so that we get a good seal when we put it on. So I've taken this out of the package. Uh, here's our fill valve. 
Um, one of the first things you want to do is you want to adjust it. Um, we want this water line right here to be about a half an inch below our overflow. So, and you adjust it by turning this, putting it back and forth, and then turning it back, and that way it's adjusted. All right? The other thing I've done is I've attached our hose and our clip, and this is what's going to attach to the overflow um, when we install it. But let's install the new fill valve. Um, we've cleaned out our hole, cleaned around the hole. We've got this rubber gasket that's going to seal it, so we're going to install that in there. And then our hose, we're going to clip it onto the overflow. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to hold the fill valve in place while I uh, install our secure nut. I'm going to go underneath here, and by hand, I can just turn it by hand. I'm going to get it started. You hear my granddaughter. So we just keep tightening that until, until it's nice and secure. And again, it's by hand. You don't need to put a pair of pliers on it. We've cleaned the hole, we've got a nice rubber gasket, and we've got a nice secure nut. You don't need to put pliers on it, you'll just cause problems if you do. There we go, so now we're installed. All right, so now we're gonna reconnect our supply line. Uh, that also connects by hand. So we put it in position, and we just start tightening. Again, tighten it by hand, don't use a pair of pliers. If you get it too tight, it's going to cause problems. So there we go. Now it's nice and tight. Now we're ready to turn the water back on. So let's just turn it counterclockwise. You can hear it starting to fill up. Okay. Now what you'll see in the tank, we're actually not just filling the tank, but we're also filling the bowl. So water will come out the bottom of the fill valve, maybe around this top here as well. The water also comes through this tube into the overflow and goes into the bowl. You can see that our tank is filled up and also we have water in the bowl. So we've successfully installed our, our new fill valve. One thing you want to do, uh, check, is underneath our water connections underneath the tank, make sure that they're dry. Uh, I would suggest leaving the towel there for a couple hours, checking back. Sometimes those leaks are really slow. but. Uh, after a couple hours, if it's still dry, you can feel comfortable removing that towel. So now we've, now we've installed our fill valve. Um, congratulations. Um, I knew you could do it. Um, so hopefully that'll give you confidence to tackle other jobs in the house. And uh, if you do, I'll have a video on that to help you out there too. Um, in the meantime, this is just another day in the life of Steve Yakshi.